wooden robotic artillery building friends to the workbench. I'm the time traveling model maker, Disorderly Cone. And today, you and I, in part two, are going to be attempting to build the Wood Wow Artillery Robot Artillery Piece. I'm super curious to see how these springs, electronics, and water pieces all work together. How will these bullets actually load in and shoot? Will it actually shoot really well? Or will there be a whole lot of problems? Either way, you and I are going to find out together. Go ahead and take out those first couple of pieces and start sanding off all those little nubbies. And while you're doing that, <clears throat> go ahead and press that subscribe button and like. I know it sounds repetitive, but it really does help. And I really do appreciate it. If you want to share your really cool projects, go over to our Instagram page. We share all kinds of awesome stuff from all around the world. And I would love to be able to take a look at your stuff and share it there too. All right, let's grab our stuff and attempt to build the Wood Wow Artillery Robot Artillery Piece together. Crew Builders, welcome back to part two of our Wow Wood Artillery Tank Build. This is the actual uh, artillery piece part that we're going to be building in this video. Let's get to it. Now, as always, I'm going to start off with a little bit of commentary. Then we're going to break down some music and any complicated parts. I'll jump back in and give some narration. All right, starting with our little motor here, we need to grab uh, this little guy. And uh, we can see two separate sides. Now, it looks like it goes on here. So... Uh, let's do it like this. It actually fits in perfectly like this. So we're going to leave it like that and hopefully we don't actually need to move it. Now I'm going to grab this next piece here. There we go. Now nothing is holding this in place just yet. We actually need to uh, grab this guy. So let's go ahead and just start building this one. Very similar to what we did before. There we go. Hmm. Okay, we actually have to fit this through first. So let's see if we can do that. Yeah, okay. So we put it through first, then we can attach these side pieces. Just like that. Okay, that makes way more sense. Way more sense. And now it goes in like this. Again, we want to be careful not to accidentally uh, crimp that little wire there in the bottom. There we go. All right, now we can grab our motor. And our motor. Okay, maybe I did this wrong again. So let's we'll take this out. Can this one piece fit through? Because if this can fit through, then, um, okay. The way the instructions are kind of put here, you can see how it kind of tells you to go in motion. But in reality, the first thing we should probably do is uh, feed this through. So let's see if we can do that successfully. And we can, just like that. Okay. Um, well, maybe, there we go. <laughs> Now we can attach this guy here. This makes way more sense. This one goes like there, right in there. A little ribbon cable goes in the front. And then we can work this guy back into place. There we go. Gotta make sure that this side here with this like little half here is on this side. And... That took way longer than I needed it to, but you know, we got there. We we figured it out, didn't we? All right, we can do that one there. And now we can take this. Okay, that didn't need to be that complicated. Um, I'm just a silly goose. Remember that, I'm just a silly goose. Okay, let's go ahead and uh, put this in place now. Hmm.
I accidentally did that one step before I should have. Um, but that's okay. It doesn't really actually affect the uh, end build at all. So that's a good thing. These guys here can only go on one way. Let's just see if we can get that in there. There we go. A little tight, but we got her. I made sure to put a little bit of wax around this little bolt there just to make sure that uh, everything kind of moves smoothly. The instructions do say to make sure that we have that. That little motor is a lot harder to turn than you might think, but now it's lined up properly. Let's go ahead and add our last little bits of detail here on top. gonna make sure I put a little bit of wax here around this uh, top and that's just to make sure that this moves smoothly I've learned from past experiences when it comes to moving models if you don't have enough wax on these areas it will not work properly but if you have too much wax it can uh, it can also cause some issues too so there's like a little bit of a, um, a happy middle if you will that you need to abide by okay now we can grab this little piece here Now with this little piece all set up, uh, we need to add a little bit more to this, but we need to actually build an assembly first before we do that. Let's go ahead and grab our little assembly, making sure the arrow is facing this way. Uh, let's grab our pieces. Okay, that looks pretty good. Uh, now we can uh, kind of build a stop. How we're gonna do that is combine these two pieces together. Like that. There's our little bump. There we go. And now we can take our little spring here. We're gonna put that there. And we're also gonna push it right there. There we go. That should give us a little Oh, it does. Nice little spring action. That was a nice. Oh, that's awesome. Okay, cool. That worked way better than I thought it would. Um, all right, now we can put a little plate on top here. And this kind of fits on top. Every time we have more connections, it always becomes a little bit more complicated. And I think it's time for some love taps. Now, if you're just uh, joining us in and you didn't see the first part, which is kind of weird and uh, I, I won't judge you for it. Um, when you use this little hammer here to kind of make sure all your pieces are really in, uh, sometimes you can make some marks on the wood. To prevent that, you can use this little sanding circle here. And what you want to do is kind of turn it this way. And then you can smash on that and that will not damage your piece it might damage your hammer but don't worry your hammer is going to be uh well thrown away and or used as a little model later okay let's move on that's that right there looks pretty good too uh so now what we need to do is add some more detail on top here let's go ahead and do that um let's put this down 
and grab these little detailed pieces here. And these guys get inserted like this. We're gonna start from the uh, inside and work our way. And uh, they actually go right to the edge. So you'll know if they're not in all the way pretty easily.
And now we enter the last little bit of our turret. So far, pretty easy. Everything's been going together uh, very much like this guy over here. Pretty straightforward, not a whole lot of pieces. Again, really super important to make sure we wax all the areas that have movement. Uh, this little area here still seems a little weak and I'm hoping that as we add stuff to it, it will uh, be a little bit better. Now, let's go ahead and add part C38. That's gonna be going on the back here. It's uh, right here. Go. Grab this guy here, put it to the bottom. I guess this acts like just as a little bit of a way to keep a lock on everything. There we go. Yeah, here's some stability. Like that. And then this piece. Okay, this is free floating right now. And then we put the side pieces on. That makes sense. I'm gonna say it feeds in like this. That detail on the bottom matches right there. I think I either, I think I have the wrong side on here because this one doesn't line up. So let's take that off, put this one on here and try this one. Yeah, that one matches. That one works. So there is a side that works and a side that doesn't. Keep that in mind. They were def uh, different pieces. They actually, um, these ones don't have numbers. Some of them do. Um, I took all the pieces out and I have them in order lined up. And so I guess I just, I missed that one. Now we're gonna make sure it's fed in there too. Add these little nubbies on here. We know they're on all the way because they're one big piece. Okay. Now we can take 44 here. Now these ones don't look like they go on any special way. They just, just go in place. So they're not like the other ones that we had with our car uh, where they had to be lined up specially. These ones just seem to be popped right in. And now we're gonna build our little sidewall, which is this little guy. And uh, what we're gonna do is we're going to orientate it to the instructions so we can see it like this. And then we're gonna grab our little pieces and we're gonna start uh, kind of constructing this.
Boom. Cool. That's our turret all complete. But now we gotta attach these two guys together. And that means we gotta get at this little area down here. I wonder if I can actually slide this into place or if I'm gonna have to take this whole thing apart and of course put it into place. I wish I would have uh, taken a little bit of a look ahead of time and uh, noticed I was gonna have to do that. But um, let's go ahead and get started on this. So I guess the first thing we need to do is either, yeah, we're gonna have to remove some pieces here. Now, it starts us off like with the soccer kit, but we're not doing the soccer kit, so we already have some pieces that we don't have on the instructions already taken off. The first thing we do though, is take this off right here. Okay, and it looks like the motor, it looks like this gets, can I, it goes underneath. Now, I can practice putting this in okay so it has to slide in like that okay so can I put it in here now we pull it through a little bit and now we're gonna do so we know that the clip goes in like that so here the tweezers come to save the day I mean, would this be an episode of Group Builders if we didn't use tweezers to like their maximum extent? But I hate to tell you this, my guys. Um, unfortunately, we're gonna have to take the entire thing apart because there's not enough room in that lip to be able to get that little sensor in there. So uh, it was a little bit futile, our efforts. We're gonna have to follow the instructions. Grr, humbug. Push these guys back through here. Okay, now I don't want to disconnect the motors necessarily. So what I want to do is I want to get you in place like that. I mean, realistically, this was way easier way of doing it. Um, probably could even make it easier by pulling it even further out of the machine, but I really don't want to stress the wires. Like that. Stubble, stubble. Okay, make sure that the uh, battery connector there or where it plugs in is on the back. And then we just gotta line everything up and make sure that we're not crimping any cables. This looks so freaking cool. I love this stuff, guys. This is some of my favorite projects right here. You know what? After all the craziness that I've had in the last couple of weeks, some of you guys know, some of you don't. I'm not gonna go into it here, but um, this is a project I think I needed to do. Turn you around. Turn around. Every now and then I get a little bit lonely. I don't wanna move it too much. But right there, my friends, that is our tank. Now, one thing I do want to do, though, is um, we got to put the sides back on, of course. But one thing I do want to do is add this little camera because this camera looks so cool. And the uh, way we're going to do that is by adding this little extension cable here. I, I guess I should have done this before, too, but I didn't realize I had to do that. So... I got carried away with the coolness. Again, tweezers come to the rescue more often than they don't. Now, I think, I think we actually remove this. Whoops. Ah, this came apart. Ah, there we go. And then I attach this like so. Cool. And then we attach the cable like so okay i have to unplug it first so this goes on like that then or not come on now how do you go on there we go all right now we're good and this 
now goes on like that. Wow, look at this. This looks so cool. Put these little side pieces back on. Uh, it goes like this, I think, if I remember correctly. Okay, I think it's stuck, it is. Okay, there we go. So that's where you feed all the balls. And then you cock this back to the rear, then put the soak gel balls into the magazine up here. So we're gonna put them all into here and then we're gonna close this little sucker. And then we gotta push this forward and that will push the balls into the mechanism here. And then we use the controller to fire it. This thing looks awesome. But Groovers, that brings us to the end of this particular episode. In our next one, we're gonna be building the controller and the targets, which I think is gonna be really interesting with all those electronic components. Until next time, Groovers, keep building.